Hello, this is Saul, and welcome to SaulCast. This is a special SaulCast on my YouTube channel. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am currently a systems administrator uh, for a higher education institution, and one of my responsibilities there is to manage an open VMS system. Open VMS is an operating system uh, that is currently maintained uh, by HP and has been around for many years. Uh, back, I think, probably back way in the 80s. I, well, I know that for sure. And uh, I have it installed at home uh, using what's called an Open VMS hobbyist license uh, through HP. And that allows me to have an open VMS system for home use. Um, this system is currently running open VMS version 7.3 uh, running on a emulator uh, installed on Linux, a Slackware 12 Linux system. The name of the emulator is SimH. Uh, just thought I might show you uh, the login prompt and how to how basically how it's set up a little bit about how it's set up so let's go ahead and uh, bring up the system I'm not sure if it's accessible if I've even started it so let's just see if we can access it from the network and right here and here's the prompt uh, for the open VMS system put in my username the password and basically you get some information about the last login. Um, with OpenVMS, uh, sometimes some of the commands might resemble uh, DOS. Um, I don't know why that is. I think maybe it's just easier. Programmers who wrote DOS and I guess the ones who worked on OpenVMS thought, hey, let's make an operating system that's easy to understand. So let's go ahead and run a few commands. Uh, one of them, uh, dir, same as DOS, for directory. Brings you the directory listing. Uh, the next one is let's let's do uh, show CPU, and what that does is shows you how many CPUs are installed in the system. Um, in the case of let's say you have an ES45, uh, which has a capability of having up to four processors, uh, when you run this command you may see active CPUs 0 two, through 3 but in my case I only have one so it's only going to have 0, it's like it says 0 which is actually the, the one processor uh, and a, a, a thing that OpenVMS administrators like to tout as being cool is that when you run a command you don't have to type out the whole command uh, VMS will try to determine what command you want to run uh, if you just put like the first two or three characters so instead of saying let's say let's do show memory so let's see sh memory and that's going to show us the amount of memory installed in the system okay and that gives us some information there and what we see uh, at the top it says uh, main memory is 64 megabytes and that is how much I have all allotted uh, for this system um, it also gives you some other information about the page file, um, which is kind of like a swap. But actually, the page 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 memory is managed differently than swap, so they are two different things. A lot of people use those terms interchangeably, uh, and actually, there are there are differences. But we won't go into that right now. Um, another thing you can do here is you can let's see what what kind of devices we have on the machine. Uh, on Linux, you might uh, to see this you might do I guess DF minus H and that would give you a listing of the partitions uh, and the disks uh, so you can do here and you do show which SH for short for show device which is, we can just put dev and that's gonna show us a lot of stuff about the devices installed in the system now in this case there's a lot of output here so let me scroll up and you'll see that we have device this is the first one right here, that's the first disk and it's the system disk and it has this label, I just 
labeled at the default, which was suggested by the tutorial that I used when I was installing the emulator. Now, and these are two different uh, disks, uh, just for data storage, I suppose. And if you were actually had a, a, I guess a disk in here or an ISO loaded, it would show up in here because this would be the CD-ROM drive. Now keep in mind these names will change if you have a normal system it's not an emulator um, but you still will have a name here and the dollar sign and when you reference uh, a VMS uh, disk you would reference it in terms of this dollar sign with the colon so let's say we wanted to actually look at the contents of the root of this directory of this drive Let's copy this information, and it shows interrupt there because 